for you once again. An explosion underground in the garage section of the World Trade Center in New York City. The first attack on the Trade Center in 93 was the first thing that woke everybody up in terms of the threat of terrorism. We said, this is not a one-time event. There is a larger movement here, and they're planning on doing more. The terrorists were burying themselves inside the ballooning communications network and the internet and the phones, and so we had to figure out who was communicating with whom and who were the terrorists, and that was the whole idea of the Thin Threat program. Of all the analysts, Bill was by far the most astute. He was the person in the agency who knew the most about metadata. It was pretty clear that we were building the most powerful analysis tool that had been developed in history to monitor basically the entire world. This little research organization had the keys to NSA's future. We let it run 24 to 36 hours. We discovered critical intelligence that had never been discovered by NSA. NSA's response completely shut the program down. Does anybody even recognize what they have? Oh my God, the whole tower collapsed. It is gone. We would have caught the people. 9-11 would have been avoided. They're taking data on every U.S. citizen in the country. That's not compatible with a democracy. It's like the Stasi on super steroids. What's wrong with this picture? 9-11 is a gift to NSA. We're going to get all the money we need and then some. It wasn't about making money. It was about protecting the country and the free world. Let's find where the skeletons are, capture it all, and then bury the report as deep as possible. The FBI decided to raid four people fabricated evidence to get a warrant. They were after all material that was related to Thin Thread. It was the largest failure in NSA history. 